Still walking these uh, Cardiff streets. Uh, one thing I've noticed here in Wales is that people really love to get shit faced. I mean, I've seen some people, it's what, 6 p.m.? And people are already thrashed. Yeah. Seriously. I'll see if I can capture some stuff. But it's packed, man. I'm having fun. Check it out. There's a woman there with uh, a photo of her ex boyfriend. And it's um, a penis. <laughs> and she's just walking around with it. It's got a, a photo on it. I wish I would have showed it to you. She already went in there. Definitely popping. Oh, yeah. Again, with the, with the beautiful architecture. Look. Look at these beautiful buildings. And beautiful people, too, of course. Stay tuned for more. And then here's the British Four Loco. I know you guys know the Four Loco in the States. Well, here's the, the British version. Look at that. The dragon soup. Cardiff Arms Park. Can't come to Cardiff without a visit to a stadium principality. And, he, and here is like, a, kind of like in a Spain, or well in certain parts of Spain where there's two languages, like in Barcelona, where it's, um, you have the Catalan, and then you have the Castellano, which is just regular Spanish. Here you have Welsh, and english and props to uh the welsh people for still keeping their native language alive that's what you see over there to the left of principality and obviously to the right of principality you see uh english so yeah, yeah stay tuned for some more and this is something that all the catalan people back home will appreciate because the Welsh, they share, you guys have something in common. You guys preserve your language. And now I'm talking in English when I should be talking in Spanish. <laughs> so, aquí algo que tiene la gente de Gales es que tienen los dos lenguajes, como en Catalunya. Aquí está el Welsh y ahí está el Inglés. Como en Cataluña, ahí les fuera el español y fuera el catalán. O Ibicenco. O Ibicenco. Where all my graffiti lovers at? There it says Cardiff Uni. One thing uh, you really, one thing you really have to watch here as an American is uh, crossing the road, man. It's crazy, you gotta look the other way. Cause uh, you're used to looking to the left when you're gonna cross the street, right? As an American, but cars are coming from the right. So you gotta be careful. At first you're like, where do I go? Where do I go? But then you kind of get used to it. This is also unique. To this part of the world right here whales look at this four packs look how they're packed very thin corona you know back in the states we're very familiar with this but you're not familiar with the packaging there's some like cool little quirks here too that you see in the uk uh that are similar to um like stores that are similar to the united states but they're not named the same thing for example look at this one we have five below and this one is one below 
And another one, hopefully I get to uh, capture it. As you know how we have TJ Maxx, well, here is uh, TK Maxx. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and show you guys that. Stay tuned. Seven. Hey, Zach. Zach. Say hi. Look at that beautiful hair. Oh, and the beautiful the nails, too. Look at that. <laughs> like he gets manicures and goes to the salon. <laughs> Very beautiful dog. Yeah, thank you. Talk about architecture. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? American influence over there. <laughs> Popeyes. This is John the Baptist, you said? Yeah. Oh, nice. John the Baptist Church right here. Look how old school it is, man. I love that the original architecture has been maintained. Is Wales like mostly Protestant or are they Catholic? I don't know, to be honest. That's so like <laughs> typical of uh, UK. Seagulls on top of like the cross in the church. Yep. I saw so much of that in um, Ireland. Hey look, the castle's over there. Yeah, we gotta go head towards the castle. Alright. So now we're gonna go head out to the castle and then uh I'll get going as soon as we get there.